armed reconnaissance role as well as artillery observation and when working in conjunction with fast moving cavalry formations informing, involving armor and infantry fighting vehicles. When the mission calls for truly exceptional war fighting capabilities, the OH-52 Delta Kiowa Warrior is always ready to answer the call. The air crew in front of us today consists of pilot in command CW2 Matthew Healy from Monticello, Indiana and pilot CW2 Jason Loggio of Stanwood, Washington. The HH-60 Army Air Medical Evacuation known as Dust Off utilizes the UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. The Dust Off crew consists of two pilots, one crew chief, and one flight medic. Dust Off aircraft can be configured to accommodate any mission demand. The configuration seen here today can accept up to three litter patients or four ambulatory patients. However, it can also be configured with a rotating carousel allowing up to six litter patients or six ambulatory patients, or a combination of both. It's also equipped with a mechanical hoist that allows crew members to insert medical personnel or extract wounded soldiers from as high as 250 feet. Each flight medic is a fully trained EMT or paramedic and carries their aid bag along with a full medical set to include suction, oxygen, and vital signs monitor, as well as a defibrillator. The goal of dust off is to transport a patient from point of injury to definitive care within one hour while providing the best critical care en route. The air crew for the medevac Black Hawk in front of you today consists of pilot in command CW3 Brent Eli from St. Peter's, pilot CW2 Jeremy Meyer from Hamler, Ohio, Chief Crew Sergeant Donnie Calvary from Clarksville, Tennessee, and Medic Staff Sergeant Greg McGowan from Rapid City, South Dakota. Directly behind that is our UH-60M. The UH-60 Blackhawk is a four-bladed, twin-engine, medium-lift utility helicopter manufactured by Sikorsky Aircraft. The UH-60 can carry 11 troops with equipment, lift 2,600 pounds of cargo internally or 9,000 pounds of cargo externally by sling. It also features state-of-the-art electric instrumentation, flight controls, and aircraft navigation control. Manufacturing began in 2006 with the first of 22 new UH-60Ms delivered on July 2006. The modified versions have also been developed for the U.S. Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard. In addition to the United States Army use, the UH-60 family has been exported to several nations. They've served in combat during conflicts in Grenada, Panama, Iraq, Somalia, and the Balkans, as well as Afghanistan and other areas in the Middle East. In the May 1st operation, 2011, that killed Osama bin Laden, it emerged that the 160th Special Operations Aviation Regiment, which operated the helicopters during the raid, used a highly modified version of this UH-60. Features apparently include modified tail section with extra blades on the tail rotor and other additions, increasing its effectiveness. The air crew for the Black Hawk in front of us today consists of pilot in command CW2 Christopher Saucier from Jefferson, New Hampshire, pilot CW2 Jared Marsh from Claremore, Oklahoma, and crew chief Sergeant Gustavo Miranda from Ozark, Alabama, along with Sergeant Gary Vale from Corning, New York. And what can you say about our AH-64D, the Boeing AH-64 Apache, a four-blade twin-engine attack helicopter with a tailwheel-type landing gear arrangement and a tandem cockpit for a two-man crew. The Apache was developed to replace the AH-1 Cobra and was first flown on September the 30th, 1975. This aircraft was introduced to the United States Army Service in 1986. It features a nose-mounted sensor suite for target acquisition and a night vision system. It's armed with 30-millimeter M230 chain gun carried between the main landing gear 
under the aircraft's main fuselage. It has four hard points mounted on the stub wing pylons, typically carrying a mixture of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and Hydra 70 rocket pods. The AH-64 has a large amount of systems redundancy to improve its combat survivability. Our aircraft for today in the Apache in front of you consists of pilot in command, CW-3 Randy Huff from Lawton, Oklahoma, and co-pilot gunner Captain Ty Huffman from Crystal River, Florida. And last but not least, our CH-47F. It's our heavy lift helicopter. can transport up to 20,000 pounds of cargo, giving it unforgiving environmental conditions day or night. It meets time-sensitive requirements for all of its missions. Its capabilities have seen it be used in combat, humanitarian theaters throughout the world. Most recently, it became the aircraft of choice during Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan. The aircraft in front of us today is piloted by Command CW-2 Brandon Korn from Carthage, Missouri, CW-2 Dustin Schneibel from Santa Cruz, California, and Flight Engineer Staff Sergeant Rico Paris from Augusta, Georgia, as well as Crew Chief Specialist David Uplinger from Lindsville, Pennsylvania, and PFC Nathaniel Webb from Indianapolis, Indiana. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a moment, you're going to have an opportunity to meet and greet these soldiers. But as this air show comes to a close, it is my privilege and pleasure once again to reintroduce a man who needs no introduction, our commanding general of the 101st Airborne Division, Major General James McConville. We just want to